Hello again. This is Pietro with Gadgets Anonymous. I get a lot of complaints about me looking into the camera, so now I'm looking into the camera. I'm on the rear-facing camera of the Samsung Galaxy S21. Not the Ultra, not the Plus, just the cheap one. Anyway, I'm holding these keys like I'm doing it. Uh, so this is an in-car video and I'm shooting in black and white because I like black and white. AOD in battery life. The Q. How much will AOD drain the battery life on the new Apple Watch 6 LTE gadget? That's what we're talking about today. I last charged my Apple Watch on Wednesday at 15.52. It was Thursday the following day and the battery life fell to 17% at 12.11. Well, now the time is 16.42 and just about 10 minutes ago it just shut off. In the spirit of testing I wanted to take it as low as I could go so I waited till 10% and that was around something something time 3 o'clock. Here's a screenshot, blip, on the screen. And then I waited till 5%. And then I started thinking, you know, I need to get my charger. This thing right here, the, the Apple proprietary charging hockey puck, which, you know, not a huge fan of because Apple has the resources. They have so many resources. They could easily make the new Apple Watches Qi compatible, QI. Why don't they do that? You know why? Because they're greedy. They want to sell these little hockey pucks for, what is it, $30, $40 a pop? It's asinine. You know what even more is asinine? Is that it comes with USB-A. What? Why? Why is, why, why? Anyway, so frustrating. Okay, sorry. AOD. How long will it last? My normal battery life on the Apple Watch 6 is 40 hours with GPS and sleep tracking. With lots of notifications, 36 hours. If you use AOD, you're going to get about 28 hours. Ergo, versa V, if you do the math, AOD eats up an additional 8 to 10 hours of battery life. There you go. AOD battery life, you're gonna get at least six to 10 hours less battery life. It really sucks up the battery. And to prove this point, I'll show you the stats that I used on my phone. Hang on a second. Okay, so those are all my notes, so you don't know I'm lying. And here's my Apple Watch 6. So let's see if we can get to turn on. Mm, nope. Come on. Okay, so it turned on power saving mode, and that's about all I'll get. What I need to do is charge this quickly. So because I'm a gadget guy, I carry this around. This is the Hokanui Power Bank. This is a 10,000 milliamp battery charger. Right now it's at 91%, so we'll plug this in. Now what, one thing I do like is at least Apple took the initiative and made this magnetic. So it just clicks right on there. And then I push the button to tell my power bank that I want to charge. And then we should get the charge indicator. There we go. So now it's charging. And normally with Apple devices, it won't fully power on until it gets to about three to 5%. You'll find that consistent with the new iPhone 12 and also Apple watches. So there you go, hours later, at 15.07 it was at 7%, 15.38 it fell to 3%, and right about when I was getting in the car to run some errands, it was just off, so that's either 1% or 0%, and that's what I put as the time of death. And then there's your mathematic equations, 15.52 to 15.25, that's about 25 hours. And normally I get 36, if I really pushed it once, I didn't use much LTE on the device, uh, nor was I using lots of GPS, just as a smartwatch, using Siri, 
lots of other cool features and the max battery life I can achieve on this without AOD has been 42 to about 43 hours. So much better than the Apple Watch Series 4 that I tested and also Series 3 that I tested unofficially through a friend of mine. So now it's 1650 and any minute this will All right, we'll do a little bit of color. So there you can see the cool screen. And what's nice about Apple is if you just barely move, the screen comes on as an indicator to let you know what the charge is and also the time of day. So if I, see, I just, I didn't do anything. I barely moved the Remarkable tablet and it quickly turns on. Well, I do not understand what's taking so long. My uh, output verifies that it is charging, see, 91%, and then it will blink out. So it's charging. Come on, Apple. Let's see if we can turn this on now. Nope. Last time I did this, it powered on much more quickly. Many minutes later, the watch finally came on, but now it's wigging out. Let me show you, this is weird. So there's my watch charging normal, right? Wait for it. It just keeps beeping at me and it's mad. I'm wondering if my Hokanui has malfunctioned and maybe it's not pushing out consistent juice. This device is just about one year old. I don't know. Based on my math, this should have booted up many minutes ago. Uh, normally it charges at 1% per minute, and it took, what was that, almost 15, 20 minutes to get to 10%? That's a long time. Yeah, it's still waking out. Weird, right? I've never had this happen with an Apple Watch. I guess this is why you don't let your devices go below 10%. In my testing, when your Apple Watch gets to 10% and it warns you, you have maybe an hour, maybe three hours at most, depending on your use, before it just dies and then you're gonna miss all your steps. I don't know what is going on with this watch. If you've had this happen, before, maybe this is another reason not to use AOD. Well, let, let's uh, see if we can see the stats. When in doubt, close all your apps. Swipe, close, close, swipe, close. This is another thing Apple needs to fix. They need to make just close all apps. Uh, honestly, come on. If Android can do it, why can't Apple? There we go. Battery. We can see that it was last charged to 100% at 1553, like I said, and now it's at 7%. It just barely said 10, so something is up. But if we go back to battery, battery health still says 100%. That is good news that my battery has not totally wigged out. And then we can go back, back, and then I'll show you the display settings that I was using. Display and brightness. I had it not on the lowest setting, I had it right in the middle. And that's pretty plenty bright. Uh, I'll have to do another test and keep it all the way on dim, and then maybe another one all the way on bright. I mean, that is really bright. So I'm gonna keep it on dim. There's the always on display. So if you're wondering how to turn on always on display, one would think it would be right here. No, Apple can't do that. And no, there's not a way to add it. Not yet. Click on the crown, go to settings, and then you just scroll on down to display, display and brightness. Here, let me change. So again, display and brightness, get a little bit of glare there. And then always on, you just turn that on like that. So now always on is on. Hide sensitive com complications and you can read that on your own sweet time. Let's see if it wigs out again. Okay, there's my charging indicator. And if you're getting consistent charge, it shouldn't keep on... Yeah, either my cable's bad, or this is bad. Well, that's just too bad. And there you go, that's my uh, always on display test with the Apple Watch 6 LTE. You can hear it dinging in the background. Uh, let me turn that off, hang on. 
All right, believe it or not, it was at 7%. Seconds later, now it's back up to 12. All right, I'm not gonna deplete my battery down to zero again. I, I think that's doing something to my watch. Grand some more math. Using AOD will deplete your battery about 20 to 35% in a 24 hour cycle. Yes, huge battery suck. Uh, I'll, I'll do some more tests and I'll do another video based upon the brightness levels because there's only three. There's level one, uh, level two, or level three for the brightnesses and, and that's all you have. Thanks again for watching. I really want this to be a five minute video. Uh, I'll edit it out and see if I can make it shorter. And if you have any pithy comments, put those down below. The banter for 2021, numbers mean something and numbers mean nothing at all. So don't forget to beat yesterday, but don't compete against your neighbor, just compete against yourself. Thanks Garmin for that nice mantra. And I still like the mantra from last year. Don't forget to run farther to go further in life. Best of luck in uh, 2021. Uh, everyone thought that COVID would be fixed by now and it's not. Uh, let's just uh, all wear our masks. I'm about to go grocery stopping. Grocery stopping? <laughs> I'm about to go grocery shopping. I'm going to wear my mask and hopefully we can get things back to normal and save Cinemark and AMC theaters. That's all for today. I'll have another video sometime in the next three to four days. And let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. Goodbye.